Welcome to the complete guide to understanding Fulvestrand. Benefits, side effects, and latest research. Whether you're newly diagnosed with hormone receptor positive breast cancer or looking to expand your knowledge on treatment options, this comprehensive guide will provide the information you need. Fulvestrand is a type of hormone therapy commonly prescribed for the treatment of advanced breast cancer in postmenopausal women. It works by blocking the effects of estrogen and slowing down the growth of cancer cells. But what are the benefits and potential side effects? And what does the latest research say about its effectiveness? In this guide, we will delve into the benefits of Fulvestrand, exploring how it can help manage breast cancer and improve quality of life. We will also discuss the potential side effects and how to manage them. Additionally, we will review the latest research findings, offering insights into advancements and potential future developments in the field. Whether you're a patient, a caregiver, or simply curious about breast cancer treatment options, this guide aims to empower you with knowledge and understanding. Join us on this journey as we shed light on Fulvestrand, a vital tool in the fight against breast cancer. What is Fulvestrand? Fulvestrand, also known by its brand name Fazlodex, is a type of hormone therapy used in the treatment of hormone receptor positive breast cancer. It belongs to a class of drugs called selective estrogen receptor degraders, SERDs. Unlike other hormone therapies that block the production of estrogen, Fulvestrand works by binding to estrogen receptors and blocking their activity. This prevents estrogen from stimulating the growth of cancer cells. Fulvestrand is typically prescribed for postmenopausal women with advanced breast cancer that has spread to other parts of the body. It may be used as a first-line treatment or in combination with other medications, depending on the individual's specific circumstances. Unlike some other hormone therapies, Fulvestrand is administered through injections into the muscle, usually in the buttocks. This method allows for a slow release of the medication into the bloodstream over time. The injections are usually given once a month, but the dosage may vary depending on the individual's response to treatment and the stage of their cancer. Benefits of Fulvestrand in Breast Cancer Treatment Fulvestrand offers several benefits in the treatment of hormone receptor-positive breast cancer. One of the key advantages is its ability to effectively block the estrogen receptors, preventing them from promoting cancer cell growth. By doing so, Fulvestrand can slow down the progression of advanced breast cancer and potentially shrink tumors. Studies have shown that Fulvestrand can be particularly effective in postmenopausal women who have not responded well to other hormone therapies. In some cases, it may even provide a viable alternative to surgery or chemotherapy, allowing patients to avoid more invasive treatments. Furthermore, Fulvestrand has been found to improve overall survival rates in certain patient populations. In a clinical trial involving postmenopausal women with advanced breast cancer, those who received Fulvestrand as a first-line treatment had a significantly longer median overall survival compared to those who received a different hormone therapy. This highlights the potential life-extending benefits of Fulvestrand in the right circumstances. It is important to note that the effectiveness of Fulvestrand may vary depending on individual factors, such as the stage and characteristics of the cancer, as well as the overall health of the patient. Therefore, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the most appropriate treatment plan for each individual case. Side Effects of Fulvestrand As with any medication, Fulvestrand can cause side effects. However, it is important to remember that not all individuals will experience these side effects, and the severity can vary from person to person. Common side effects of Fulvestrand include injection site reactions, such as pain, swelling, or redness at the injection site. These reactions are usually mild and temporary, resolving on their own within a few days. Some individuals may also experience flu-like symptoms, such as fever, chills, and fatigue, after receiving the injections. These symptoms are typically short-lived and can be managed with over-the-counter pain relievers. Other potential side effects of Fulvestrand include nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, and loss of appetite. These gastrointestinal symptoms can generally be managed with dietary modifications and prescribed medications, if necessary. It is important to inform healthcare providers if these symptoms become severe or persistent. In rare cases, Fulvestrand may cause more serious side effects, such as blood clots, liver problems, or allergic reactions. These side effects require immediate medical attention and should be reported to a healthcare professional right away. It is important to discuss any concerns or potential side effects with a healthcare provider before starting Fulvestrand. They can provide guidance on how to manage side effects and determine whether Fulvestrand is the right treatment option for each individual. Understanding the Mechanism of Action of Fulvestrand To understand how Fulvestrand works, it is important to grasp the role of estrogen in breast cancer development and progression. 
In hormone receptor positive breast cancer, the cancer cells have receptors on their surface that can bind to estrogen. When estrogen binds to these receptors, it stimulates the growth and division of cancer cells, leading to tumor growth. Fulvestrant works by binding to the estrogen receptors on the surface of cancer cells. However, unlike other hormone therapies that simply block the receptors, Fulvestrant goes a step further. It not only blocks the receptors but also causes them to degrade and be removed from the cancer cells. This results in a more complete and long-lasting blockade of the estrogen signaling pathway. By effectively blocking the estrogen receptors and reducing the levels of estrogen available to stimulate cancer cells, Fulvestrant slows down tumor growth and can potentially shrink existing tumors. This mechanism of action makes Fulvestrant a valuable tool in the treatment of hormone receptor-positive breast cancer. Latest Research and Clinical Trials on Fulvestrant Ongoing research and clinical trials continue to explore the potential of Fulvestrant in breast cancer treatment. These studies aim to improve our understanding of the drug's efficacy, identify patient populations that may benefit the most, and discover new ways to optimize treatment outcomes. One area of research focuses on combining Fulvestrant with other targeted therapies or chemotherapy drugs to enhance its effectiveness. For example, a clinical trial investigated the combination of Fulvestrand with a CDK4-6 inhibitor in postmenopausal women with advanced breast cancer. The results showed that the combination therapy significantly improved progression-free survival compared to Fulvestrand alone, highlighting the potential benefits of combination treatments. Another area of interest is the use of Fulvestrand in earlier stages of breast cancer, such as in adjuvant therapy after surgery. Adjuvant therapy aims to reduce the risk of cancer recurrence by targeting any remaining cancer cells in the body. Preliminary studies have shown promising results, suggesting that Fulvestrand may play a role in improving outcomes in early-stage breast cancer as well. Furthermore, research is underway to identify biomarkers that can predict the response to Fulvestrand. By identifying specific genetic or molecular characteristics that are associated with better treatment response, healthcare providers can personalize treatment plans and optimize outcomes for individual patients. It is worth noting that research is an ongoing process, and new findings continue to emerge. Therefore, staying informed about the latest research and discussing potential options with a healthcare professional is essential for making well-informed treatment decisions. How to take Fulvestrant, Dosage and Administration Fulvestrant is typically administered through injections into the muscle, usually in the buttocks. The injections are given once a month, and the dosage may vary depending on individual factors, such as the stage of cancer and the response to treatment. The healthcare provider will determine the appropriate dosage and schedule based on the individual specific circumstances. It is crucial to follow the recommended dosing instructions and attend all scheduled appointments to ensure the optimal benefits of Fulvestrand treatment. The injection process itself is relatively simple. The healthcare provider will clean the injection site, usually on the upper outer quadrant of the buttock, and administer the medication using a syringe. It is normal to experience some discomfort or mild pain during the injection, but this should subside quickly. It is important to inform the healthcare provider about any medications, supplements, or herbal remedies being taken, as they may interact with Fulvestrand. Certain medications, such as strong CYP3A4 inhibitors or inducers, can affect the metabolism of Fulvestrand and alter its effectiveness. Therefore, it is crucial to disclose all medications to ensure safe and effective treatment. If a dose of Fulvestrand is missed, it should be administered as soon as possible. However, if it is close to the time of the next scheduled dose, it is advisable to skip the missed dose and continue with the regular dosing schedule. Doubling the dose to make up for a missed dose is not recommended, as it may increase the risk of side effects without providing additional benefits. Precautions and interactions with other medications as with any medication, Fulvestrand has certain precautions and potential interactions with other medications that should be considered. Before starting Fulvestrand, it is important to inform the healthcare provider about any existing medical conditions, such as liver problems or blood clotting disorders. Fulvestrand can affect liver function, so regular monitoring of liver enzymes may be necessary during treatment. Additionally, Fulvestrand may increase the risk of blood clots, so individuals with a history of clotting disorders should be closely monitored. Fulvestrand may interact with certain medications, including strong CYP3A4 inhibitors or inducers. These medications can affect the metabolism of Fulvestrand and alter its effectiveness. It is important to disclose all medications, including over-the-counter drugs, supplements, and herbal remedies, to the healthcare provider to ensure safe and effective treatment. Pregnant women or those planning to become pregnant should not take Fulvestrand, as it can harm the developing fetus. 
Similarly, breastfeeding women should avoid fulvastrant, as it may pass into breast milk and harm the nursing baby. It is crucial to discuss family planning and appropriate contraception methods with a healthcare provider before starting fulvastrant. It is also worth noting that fulvastrant may cause dizziness or drowsiness. It is important to avoid driving or operating machinery if these side effects occur and to inform the healthcare provider if they persist or worsen over time. As with any medication, it is crucial to follow the healthcare provider's instructions and consult with them regarding any concerns or questions about precautions and potential interactions with other medications. Frequently asked questions about fulvastrant. Can men take fulvastrant? Fulvastrant is primarily used in postmenopausal women with hormone receptor positive breast cancer. However, in some cases, it may be prescribed off-label for men with advanced breast cancer. The decision to use fulvastrant in men should be made on an individual basis in consultation with a healthcare provider. What are the long-term effects of fulvastrant? The long-term effects of fulvastrant are still being studied. Some potential side effects, such as bone loss or joint pain, may occur with long-term use. Regular monitoring and appropriate management of these side effects are necessary to ensure optimal long-term outcomes. Can fulvastrant be used in combination with other hormone therapies? Fulvastrant is often used as a monotherapy but can also be combined with other hormone therapies or targeted therapies. Combining treatments may enhance the effectiveness of fulvastrant in certain patient populations. The decision to use combination therapy should be made in consultation with a healthcare provider based on individual circumstances. What should I do if I experience severe side effects from fulvastrant? If you experience severe side effects from fulvastrant, such as blood clots, liver problems, or allergic reactions, it is important to seek immediate medical attention. Inform a healthcare provider about the symptoms and follow their guidance on appropriate management. Are there any lifestyle changes I should make while taking fulvastrant? Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is important for overall well-being and may complement the effects of fulvastrant. This includes eating a balanced diet, engaging in regular physical activity, getting adequate rest, and managing stress. It is advisable to discuss any specific lifestyle changes or concerns with a healthcare provider. Alternative treatment options for breast cancer. While fulvastrant is a valuable treatment option for hormone receptor positive breast cancer, it is not the only option available. The choice of treatment depends on various factors, including the stage and characteristics of the cancer, the individual's overall health, and personal preferences. Some alternative treatment options for breast cancer include Surgery Surgery is often the primary treatment for early-stage breast cancer. It involves removing the tumor and surrounding tissues. The type of surgery may vary depending on the size and stage of the cancer, and it can be followed by additional treatments, such as radiation therapy or chemotherapy. Radiation therapy. Radiation therapy uses high energy beams to kill cancer cells or prevent their growth. It is commonly used after surgery to destroy any remaining cancer cells and reduce the risk of recurrence. Radiation therapy may also be used to relieve symptoms in advanced breast cancer. Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy uses drugs to kill cancer cells or stop their growth. It can be used before surgery to shrink tumors, after surgery to eliminate any remaining cancer cells, or as a primary treatment for advanced breast cancer. Chemotherapy can be administered orally or intravenously, and the specific drugs and dosage depend on the individual case. Targeted therapies. Targeted therapies are designed to specifically target certain molecules or genetic mutations in cancer cells. They work by interfering with specific pathways involved in cancer growth and progression. Targeted therapies can be used in combination with other treatments or as a standalone therapy, depending on the individual's specific circumstances. Immunotherapy Immunotherapy, also known as biologic therapy, harnesses the body's immune system to fight cancer cells. It can help stimulate the immune system's response, making it more effective at recognizing and destroying cancer cells. Immunotherapy is currently being explored as a treatment option for various types of cancer, including breast cancer. Thanks for watching.